such an idiot. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to thank everybody who subscribed. And most of all, I want to thank Steve, Micah, and Bookworm Adventure Girl to, for the shout out. Muchos, muchos, muchos gracias. Thank you, thank you. 260 subscribers, I believe, I have now when I'm filming this, so thank you very much. It's not about the count, but it's more about talking about books to people and not just to myself. So I think I've succeeded. <laughs> and then I came up with a very stupid idea. Well, not only me, Ketter Van Reed, who is one of my favorite channels, please like and subscribe. We have decided to go crazy in <laughs> October and we call it <laughs> No, honestly, when I was a kid, I really liked big books. I, I like to immerse myself completely in a book. You know, I don't have that feeling when I read books that are, you know, 200 pages. It's quickly over. It's I read those in one sitting and sometimes I want to live in that world. I want to walk around in that world and with a book of 150 pages, 200 pages to 50. That's often too short. You have writers who can achieve that, but it's mm, not the same. Although uh, you would say then uh, read some fantasy, but I don't like fantasy. I don't like the, the world building and all the details. I don't like detailed stuff. It's not, I'm not here for the details. I like a good, good immersive story. And since I started this channel, I've been drawn more towards the shorter uh, books because I want to show you what I read. And if I read only one book a week, that's not much to talk about, I think. And uh, <laughs> although you have some really good uh, channels where they present you one book, they talk about one book, but very into detail and I'm not the most detailed person in the world. So I thought, well, those big fat books are waiting for me. They're crying in the little bookshelves and like, oh, please read me. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I thought, well, let's make an event out of it. Let's do <laughs> Doorstopper Doom. <laughs> I'm so sorry, so many people are going to unsubscribe. <laughs> we didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I want to read 10 books together with uh, Ketter Van Reeds in the month of October of minimum 500 pages. Now, you don't have to join, but there's also a light version. Uh, it's like, um, maybe read in October the biggest book you have, you know, if you have a, a thousand pages book, well, try it that month or start with it or read if you have a 750 pages book, well, read two of those, but we are this crazy to do this. And, uh, <laughs> So I'm going to give a short run through of what I'm thinking of reading. This is not a, a definite list because there are some books that are coming my way from home, I, from my parents' house where I used to yeah, live. I used to live with my parents. How odd. So this one is a book that I wanted to read for at least a year now. I bought it uh, last year in a library sale for 50 cents. Can you imagine? 50 cents. Uh, that's why it has that annoying sticker, but I can't remove it. It's called Per... Uh, it's by um, the Swedish... Swedish author Per Olof Engvist. And it's called in English Louis 
journey. Louis Petrus is a well-known figure in Sweden. He is, was um, a very important church leader and he was friends for a very long time with Sven Littmann. Sven Littmann was a poet. Well, he was a bit of a dandy and um, he liked uh, the lighter things and stuff. And uh, together they built a new church or a new, yeah, a church community. And uh, more and more uh, they gained power and then uh, they turned against each other. And it's like, uh, Shakespeare, but real. This is what the book is about. It sounds like f a fascinating read. And I, I can't wait to read it. And well, that will be in October. This book is, I forgot to mention, has oh, just 500 pages, 510. And then I uh, bought this one in a sale of the Red Cross. It's uh, Joyce Carol Oates, The Grave Digger's Daughter. Uh, how many pages? Wait, wait, wait. 556. So The Grave Dig Digger's Daughter is about uh, a nightmarish celebration of the American dream of the transformative powers of ambition, talent and love. Harsh and lyrical, according to the Daily Telegraph. So beautiful Hazel Jones and her son Zach are liked and admired by all they meet. But they inspire curiosity too. Why is Zach forbidden to mention his father? And how did the Hazel, Hazel get the scars on her forehead? Why do they roam from place to place, settling nowhere and confiding into no one? Next book is um, the, uh, the Secret History by Donna Tartt. Look, it's a signed copy. Donna Tartt. And look how much I paid for it. One euro fifty. It's almost the same as a, a dollar and a half. It's almost the same. Um, I have never read Donna Tartt, although I have heard three books. So, um, yeah. Here it says Donna Tartt, 28. I don't think she's 28 anymore. So a bit stupid to, <laughs> to mention her current date on a book. A book as well as the human's age. Then the next one is, uh, what was the other original title? It's a book from James Elroy, by James Elroy. It's called uh, The Cold 6000. It's about, we're talking about Dallas, 1963, November. The famous date where uh, President Kennedy was shot and killed. And there's um, a young uh, officer from Las Vegas. He arrives with $6,000 in his pocket. And uh, he was paid that much money to um, do a cover-up. Uh, but before he knows it, he's in the middle, in the middle of a conspiracy. Yeah, I'm really curious, but it's... Over 760, 70 pages. Uh, but I will still want to read it though. And this one by James T. Farrell, Stutz Lonigan. I, I bought it also for like 25 cents. I've never read it. It's about an Irish boy who arrives in, um, in the States and he wants to uh, live the American dream and he does, he goes very far to do that. He, he ends up in uh, uh, Chicago and he becomes one of uh, a gang. Uh, he's a gangster. And yeah, but it's, uh, how much is it? Uh, 624 pages this way. It's in English. Looking for it. Stutz Lonegan by Farrell, James T. Farrell. And then this one is Frankenstein's Mother by Almudena Grandes. 
This is about a psychiatrist and he has been living for, in Switzerland for 15 years and he returns to Spain to work in a sort of an asylum kind of thing and or an institution for uh, men mental ill women. And there he meets a woman, uh, what was her name, Aurora Rodriguez Carballera, who killed her own daughter. And nobody cares about that woman because, yeah, she's a, a child murderer. And more and more he gets intrigued by that woman and he, he really wants to know her better and, and see why she has done this. Uh, this is uh, 676 pages. Then, in the light of what we know by Zia he Heider Raman, this is also a Dutch version, in the light of what we know, this is the book that should, be, should have been Jonathan Franz and Freedom. So this is about, I believe, uh, an investment banker his career is not going very well and neither is his marriage and then he uh, has um, an expected visitor from Southeast Asia and uh, it turns out that it is his long-lost friend Zafar uh, who was a brilliant mathematician and he disappeared suddenly and there he is all of a sudden back and what follows is the story of two friends who turn against each other. Again, it's a bit of a theme. Then we have the newcomers. Comers. Also a beautiful book um, from Ljubljana. Uh, it is Lojje Kovacic. The newcomers. Lloyd Kovacic. And this is about. Can you see it? I can put it here on, on here now. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I can put it here. It's about a trilogy about a, a difficult boy, a clumsy father, uh, poverty, and war. Must be interesting. It's a. Uh, it's beautiful, apparently, and it's uh, one of the... Kovacic is known as one of the great East European writers. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really... It's from Slovenia. And I'm really curious to... I love the cover. Sorry for the, the sticker, but it's a young boy who is smoking. And, <laughs> and the author is smoking too. I would never take a picture like that. Why do people think it's cool to smoke? I don't get that. Then, Vikram Seth has written a book of how many? 500 pages? It's called Two Lives and it's about his parents. Uh, she's uh, a Jewish woman and she fell in love with uh, yeah, Vikram Seth's father, who is from India. And uh, people didn't, in those days, uh, marrying uh, a man who is another, uh, who has another skin color that was a shock, a shame, a, a rebellious act. You couldn't do that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So I'm really curious to read that. And then I have, and how many pages? 600. And Petri. I really like Aunt Pri Petri. This is the translation of The Narrow. I believe it's called in English The Narrow. The Narrows. I'm sorry. Um, this book came out after the street. I really love that book. Um, to me, it's the best book I've read this year so far. Uh, this one is about a guy who link williams so this guy this young promising black guy um, falls in love with a very rich uh, white lady and uh, they they 
have a passionate relationship, but uh, they have all the odds against them and uh, everybody tries everything to tear them apart. And yeah, it must be a fantastic read, a fantastic read. So yeah, this is it. Woo! So, uh, Doorstopper Doom, what do you think? Wanna join?